it's Dave. I'm doing a review on a device here called the Smart Row SC92. You almost want to say Smart Pro, but it's Smart RO is the best I can tell here. It was sent to me to test it out, and here's the video. All right, now let me give you the brief on it, show you how I have it set up, and toward the end of the video, I'll show you the mechanics of how to put it all together. It's actually not expensive at all. I have a link in the description to take you to a link in Amazon where you could buy this if you like this sort of thing. Let me give you the brief on it. This goes in your home and this goes outside or inside, wherever you want. And it sends a signal what the temperature is here to this. And you read it here. The bottom part is the temperature and humidity where this home monitor is sitting and right here tells you what this is. Now you can connect up to three of these and I have two and I'll show you where I have them. I have one outside of my home and one in the refrigerator. Uh, I got kicked over to the bedroom because my wife is working in the kitchen but this thing is magnetic and will stick to the refrigerator. Now let me show you basically what it does here and you'll have to look right here. Now it's going to go through a couple different automatic switches. Now if you look, this is number three. You can connect three to it. I do not have three, I have two. Here's the temperature inside of the home where I'm at now. This is the humidity. So this remains constant. Up here changes. Now you can see where I have probe one. It's 91947 percent humidity. The second one all of a sudden gets real cold, doesn't it? It's 44.1 and the humidity is lower. Number one is outside of my home in my shed. And of course number three is not connected. Number two is in the refrigerator. Let me see if I got this right. Yeah, one is outside, two is in my downstairs refrigerator, and of course I don't have number three. Now let me move over and show you, and I'm going to give you a still shot of how I have it set up and I'll put it in the video here. Now let me give you a shot of where number one is. Here's my bedroom, here's my shed. Now you can see it's a decent distance from the home. And the device is in there, and I think you'll enjoy this, I have a security camera facing directly on it right now. So we're going to see if whatever the temperature in that shed is, is coming through the signal and it'll be here in my bedroom where I'm going to have the device. For years I've had sitting outside of my uh, bedroom just to monitor the temperature. It's saying around 90 degrees here where I live, give or take. That, that changes depending on if the sun's hitting it. But right now it's on 90. All right, let's see what we got. I'm going to show you this without it lighting up. Okay, number one is the one in the shed right now. So kind of don't pay attention to the bottom number. It's saying it's 92.7 degrees in the shed. This one's in the downstairs refrigerator. Now, it, uh, it was a little colder than that, but I've been in and out of that fridge this morning. And I do not have a third one. I wish I did because I'd probably put it up in the attic. So once you get this set up, it slowly rotates through those uh, wireless sensors. So it's shed, and we'll go to the refrigerator. Refrigerator, see, and if you look close, see it's on number two. And it'll switch number three here in a second. And I, I, I do not have a number three. And this is the temperature in the bedroom. Okay, so, you know, now, the nice thing is, it'll actually take a temperature right where it's sitting. All right, there it is. It's, it's right on the money with it. What you're seeing on the right is my cell phone with the security camera facing the, the device, this device that's out in the shed. You saw it in a snapshot. So that's a live shot on the right. That's the best I can get it focused that close. 
92.7, 46% humidity. This will come in handy if if you have a project, like I've actually known people that are making, uh, you know, wine or something in an uh, external building, keep track of the temperature, this sort of thing. I put it in my refrigerator just for something fun. Uh, you know, I may put one up in the attic to monitor the temperature, you know, for what purpose, I don't know, <laughs> but I'd have one up there. Uh, you, you could put it in a car outside. You could put it, just think about some uh, applications. You could put it in another room, you know, this sort of thing, and monitor it, and that's it. Oh, it lights up too. Now at the very, very top here, see that little button? All you do is just lightly touch it. I don't know how it'll photograph. There. It'll stay lit for a little bit. And you get the right angle on it, it looks better. And there's some high-tech fun functions on it too, like uh, the overall temperature for the day or this sort of thing. You can adjust it here. Alright, so here it is, live shot on the phone on my security camera. Thought that'd be fun to look at. So you, you could see, like if, if I went to my shed, I could pick this device up and the temperature reading would be on it too. So it's here and here. All right, let me show you the mechanics. There's going to be a link in the description of the video. Take you to the Amazon uh, place where you could buy this. It is really not expensive at all if you have a need for it. All right, let me show you the hardware. I have them both back here in the home. And I'll show you how to connect it. Really nothing to it. Okay, here, two uh, AAA batteries. Two AA, and it tells you how to put them in. And uh, this will give you a close look at it. See here, this is what it reads. The little red thing is probably it's, it's sending the signal out. Now here's all you need to know if you buy more than one. There's a little dip switch right here. Let me see if I can get a close up on it. It says one, two, three. See it? Just slide that little switch down. So you make one. You know, number one, and another one, number two, and if you get three, you just click it that way. Uh, the top button, Celsius Fahrenheit. The TX is if you need to make it send the signal. Now, if I remember all this correctly, it just automatically found itself. What I did was put batteries in everything, made one, one, number one, one of these, number two, and it automatically found it when it goes to search. You can force it to do that if you press the TX button, and it connects. Now, if you if you change batteries out, I think you have to start the whole process over because there's not a memory on it. But it's it's not like an extremely secure device. It just simply connects to itself. There it is, right there. So that is the brief on it, and you can check out the link in the description of the video. It's really not expensive, kind of fun if you have some need for it. And I hope you enjoyed this little video. Thank you. Hey, I just want to add a little addendum to the video. Here it is here, the uh, home base, so to speak. I have uh, it out in my garage on my refrigerator. And I have, now this probe, number one, is in my shed in the backyard. Number two, I put in the attic just for the fun of it. Let's see what the, this is in my attic. And number three is still blank, so maybe I can convince that company to give me a third one, and I'll put the third one outside. So here, here's the final resting spot. So anyway, it's, it's kind of a cool device, not real expensive if you like monitoring temperatures and things. I'm impressed with the fact that it's going through brick and mortar and wood, like the one in my attic's going through, you know, how many layers of floor. The one in my shed has got to be at least 100 and some feet away probably 150 feet away and and that signals going through the shed going through the block going through the brick all that stuff and it's right here so anyway there it is hope you enjoyed it take care